14th. It is our first Monday of the school year. It's our first full five-day week of the school year, and we're having a spirit week. Welcome to Mellow Monday. I hope you're all wearing something cozy and comfortable this morning. Um, I'm wearing my Cascade Camp hoodie. Um, it is a leadership camp that we have up at Camp Sispis. Sispis is one of my favorite places on earth. And so shout out to my Cascade Camp family. Um, all right. Today at 8 o'clock, you are going to be Zooming with your first period class. Then you're going to meet with your second period class at 9 and your third period class at 10. Now, if you're a junior high student, so 7th and 8th graders, today at 11, you will meet with your advisory. All right. Then tomorrow morning on Tuesday, it's a hats and headwear day. So you can wear your um, baseball caps, stocking caps, cowboy hats, crowns, uh, whatever you choose. And that's tomorrow. And then tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, you'll meet with your fourth period class, then fifth period and sixth period. This coming Wednesday is our first what we call on-demand day or asynchronous day, which means you may have a Zoom meeting with one of your teachers, it, or maybe not. There are not scheduled Zooms at this time for all kids. It's per teacher, and they'll be reaching out to you and communicating that. But what for, the, for most kids on Wednesday is an opportunity to get work done, get caught up. Your teacher might have some office hours on Wednesday where you or you can email them and ask them questions if you have help. Now, junior high students, you have advisory on at 11 o'clock on Wednesday. So all junior high kids, 11 o'clock, uh, meet with your advisory. And so that's seventh and eighth grade kids. So what, so Wednesday for our spirit week, it's wacky Wednesday. You can interpret that. Maybe it's crazy hair or crazy tops, um, maybe some face paint, but that is on Wednesday. Thursday this week, we'll resume um, what we did on Monday. So Thursday is first, second, and third period, and then Friday, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now, Thursday's uh, Spirit Day is Throwback Thursday. That means that you are wearing maybe your elementary hoodie or t-shirt if it still fits. Um, if you're a junior high student, maybe you're wearing a middle school shirt, maybe your middle school band shirt or your middle school PE shirt. Or maybe your parents have some of their like old hoodies or jackets that they wore when they were in high school. So you could sport that on Throwback Thursday. Um, Staff might be wearing like one of their college sweatshirts or something on Throwback Thursday. So we're excited to see what, who's wearing what, what schools are represented. Obviously, you don't have to go into West Valley to wear an elementary, whatever elementary you went to. Well, you, if you can fit into it, you can wear it. Um, all school rules for dress code still apply in our Zoom meetings. And then finally, on Friday, uh, it is Ram Pride Day. Now, I know some of you may not have Ram Pride gear yet or hoodies and sweatshirts or t-shirts, but our colors are Scarlet and Columbia Blue, otherwise known as Red and Light Blue. So if you've got Red and Light Blue to wear, then you can show your Ram Pride on Friday. All right, so that kind of covers the weekly schedule. We'll try to do announcements every day this week just to remind you where you should be. Today's Monday. You're starting with first period at 8 o'clock. Now, this week, we're finishing up, we should be finishing up iReady testing, and tomorrow, Tuesday, is lunch pickup, and then today, back to Monday, sorry, this afternoon, if you have not picked up your materials, there's another opportunity, kind of our last opportunity, and it's this afternoon from 3 to 5 o'clock, so Monday, September 14th, 3 to 5 o'clock, material pickup for both middle school and junior high that is available today. All right, um, keep this, wrap this up. Just want to say shout out to our Seahawks who took home a first win of the season. And for all the other um, games out there that look like really good games, I hope your team uh, played well and won if, if you're not a Seahawk fan. Uh, but, and I know that um, it's exciting to have something to watch, especially since we really can't, we really shouldn't be outside right now with all the smoke. So hopefully you guys stayed in and had some fun this weekend. 
And we want to, again, say thank you to all our firefighters um, who are protecting and working hard to protect the Pacific Northwest, and to all of our Pacific Northwest family whose um, houses have, have either been lost or they've had to evacuate. We pray that um, you will be um, taken care of and are, um, are safe and healthy. We know this is a really scary time. So uh, hopefully we'll be seeing some shift in our weather and um, we can get our blue skies back and the rain could come and that would be great. Um, I don't know if that's on our forecast, but we just want to take everyone to take care of themselves and um, we hope we will see, um, see all of you soon. Well, we'll see you soon today. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good Monday. See you in your Zoom at 8 o'clock, and um, enjoy your, mel your mellow morning. All right, bye.